All right, I'm on the Elliott Highway in Fox. 11 below. My beer is just gonna get caked with ice, but all my water should be all right. I lined it with insulation on the bottom and the lid, some Gorilla Glue on the bucket out inside around. All my medicines will stay in there. That's as high as the sun's gonna get. Been one car in about 20 minutes, but we're going straight to cold foot. Well, check out my head steaming. Everything steaming. Well, I made it to Hilltop. Some ice road truckers. It's nice and warm, too warm in there, but this hilltop truck stop, it's kind of like the last stop before you really get up. I'm 84 miles from the Dalton Highway. Let's see how far it'll zoom up. There's not merely big mountains out here, it's kind of flat plateaus. Uh, it's about eight below now, it's starting to warm up pretty good. Yeah, you get, I got a cup of coffee and a little bag of donuts for almost eight bucks. But everything's staying nice and warm in here. I mean, almost too warm. Probably 80 degrees down in there, but I gotta keep venting it to let oxygen in so these can work. Then I got that Gorilla Glue and then sealant plumbing tape insulation. Alright, I'm heading back out to the Elliott Highway. Well, there's the hilltop truck stop. Uh, Elliott Highway. And boy, this traffic's light. Yeah, look at the no man's land guide. It's mostly plateaus out here. The Brooks Range is still about 250 miles. There's really not a good shoulder for somebody to stop right here, but right there is the exit to the truck stop. Somebody will see me directly across and wave me over. But yeah, this hilltop truck stop, you can see it just outside of Fox, about eight miles. It's kind of like the last place before alive and good. All right. Anyway, oh. Uh, Keep you updated. Well, I made it four miles from the Dalton Highway intersection. Look how quiet it is. Yeah, I don't even know what this little community is. I went over there. The guy that dropped me off said they might have a room I could rent overnight. But the guy at the door, the only place with a living creature in it was him. Uh, he said, no, nah, there ain't nothing like that here. So he didn't seem too friendly. So I thought maybe he'd invite me in for coffee or something. I gotta figure out something. That sun's almost down. <clears throat> Starting to ice up now. 
Oh, I can't take my gloves off long. Oh my God, it's cold. That dropped me off, said it was 24 below right here. Well, let's see if I can do a movie impression. I'm not laying in the snow, but... Ben! Ben! Jacob! Ah, uh, uh, Jacob! Uh, uh. Even my hat was frozen a while ago up top from my head sweating. My head stopped sweating. And that frost went away. I've been here about an hour and a half, and... Still not one single car. The Dalton Highway is about two miles up. Oh, God, I can't keep my hands out long at all. What have I got myself into? I'm still happy inside. Oh, my fingers. Oh, man. Even my eyeballs have a kind of like an ice cream headache when you eat too much ice cream. You know, the fear does kind of hit you. And you think, man, what have I done? But I let hope, to live on hope. There's some ice fog down in that valley. Sun's gone down. That's some nasty stuff. See that haze down beyond the trees? Probably a mile away. The sun's already set. It's really dropping. It's probably 30 below now. At least I'm going uphill right there when I get there. As long as I keep walking. Hey, somebody coming. Well... I've seen a car coming my way from the south here. Lights got and it stopped right here. And it was a Alaska State Trooper. He says, he just asked where I was going. And uh, he said, I got to go up here to the Dalton Highway intersection and investigate something. So I don't know if they had a wreck up there. But he says, just hang tight. I'm going to be looking for you on my way back. So maybe he'll give me a ride to somewhere with a motel. Uh... Which is in uh, uh, Yukon River. They got a little motel there. So I'm going to try to make it. I think it's 90 miles. The Dalton Highway is just about four miles up where the Alaska State Trooper is. God, my lips won't hardly move. Oh my God, it's freezing cold. And that wind's picked up too, which is a dang bitch. I can't keep my hands out too long. Well, he still hadn't come back by. Been about 20 minutes. I hadn't heard no a life flight or anything. They'd never get an ambulance out here in time. It has to be all flown. Look at my hat now. I'm getting It's about 30 below, and that wind is really kicking up. What's that other Star Wars impression? When Luke Skywalker's on Dagobah, and he tells... Or two, he goes, well, if you're beginning to think this was a bad, eye, bad idea coming here, I'm beginning to agree with you. He tells R2 DT, but I don't know. Ah. Mother. Yeah, it's fixing to be dark. And that fog, I don't see it now, but that Alaska State Trooper should be coming over that hill.
a guy named Yukon Jerry. Let me stay in the, his little cabin. I have to sleep on the floor. But that's all right. Get a fire going here. Well, I got to split. See if he's got an axe. A little hatchet. Yeah, there we go. Glad I found that headlamp. All right. Yes, Yukon Jerry's. He's a trapper. Look at all his hats. Wow. But he give me a ride here to Yukon River Camp. That's where I'm at. He offered me a night stay. That way I'll get fresh off in the morning to cold foot next in the Arctic Circle. I'm almost to the Arctic Circle. But, uh, yeah. Shining it right in. But I should be able to make cold foot tomorrow. I just chucked up some wood out front with a mall. Yeah, that state trooper never come back. They give me a ride about 20 minutes after that state trooper went by. Never did see him up the road either. Thank God, because I was really starting to worry there. Uh, <laughs> about everything. But I guess I'll sleep on the floor right there. Oh, uh, look at that bear. Bear pelt. You know, wolf. I'll show more tomorrow. When it's daylight tomorrow, I'll show it outside. I'm in Yukon River Camp. That's just magnificent. He does all these mittens. Oh man. Yeah, Jerry, he, he took all them pelts, took all them furs, he went back to Fairbanks, he left a few, but he went back to Fairbanks to sell them, I guess those are the ones he didn't, it's just getting daylight, I'm trying to get a, he said he'd be back about noon, so I'm making sure it'll be warm in here. Well, them little wood stoves are nice. Uh, anyway, I got rolled up. Yeah, that bucket, I hadn't had frozen water in it yet. But I left a bottle out last night and it froze. I mean, not just a little. It froze rock hard. It must have got oh, 35 below at least. And it's about... I don't know, zero in here, but I'm fixing to go out and try to get a ride. I'm at Yukon River Camp. The next scene should be from the Dalton Highway. I got some pictures, but no video of the Dalton Highway sign. Uh, so, uh, let's go outside. Well, there's Jerry's little cabin. Yeah, he used that to go to the truck. He had all his pelts and furs in it. He just didn't want to be on camera, and I can kind of see why. So I'm going out to, that's the bridge to the Dalton Highway there, going across the Yukon River. Uh, that's looking south on the Dalton Highway. That's the Yukon River Bridge. It's made out of wood. If you look in my July videos, I'm at the top of this bridge, and I walk out on it. 
But the Alaska Pipeline is right there. It's one of the support. If I remember, I think it's 36 inch diameter. Look at all the horror frost. It's about 11 in the morning. northbound cold foot's next I'm at Yukon River Camp which is a little restaurant type deal in the summer they don't open till noon but at least I got a place to go if I get too dang cold now an Alaska State Trooper just Pulled in behind me. That might be him there. Yep, he was behind me. I didn't even know. Mm. Good morning to you too. back I I don't think that was an Alaska State Trooper in that truck it, I think it was a pipeline security or maintenance or something I've seen it up here in the summer I just, I just couldn't see that emblem on the side it, it looked state but yesterday or I mean, last night when we got in oh my god my beard was like three times as long <laughs> and it weighed a ton I had so much ice condensation on it and all around my hat was white it's kind of starting to turn back now I feel my beard getting longer I keep zipping my damn uh, beard up in my dang zipper but I'm I'm comfortable except for my hand I had to take my gloves off to prop the camera up, but I kind of needed to warm my hands up a little more. Just don't sweat. Uh, I'm about an hour from the Arctic Circle. Maybe not quite. Uh, I've been out here about 35, 40 minutes, and there hadn't been but that truck. In the last clip and there's some wolf wolf prints in the snow here off when I pick my camera up I'll go over there I'm just warming my hands up keeping them warm with them uh, heat pack so, I'm almost made it Highway. I, I did get a picture, couple of pictures of that. I'll have to use one for a thumbnail on this video if it ever gets made. Uh, yeah, they don't open till noon, Yukon River Camp. And what I was being told is you, you have to order your food and then go back outside because of the COVID. But I'll find out here in about an hour. Well, every time you walk on snow that sounds like that, you know it's cold. <sighs> yeah, my bucket, that, everything in it stayed above freezing. Probably about 60 or 70 degrees in there. Uh, my lips are starting to get cold, so I don't know if my speech is changing or not. Uh, 
I gotta get my hand back in my pocket. Yeah, look at the wolf. I think that's so cool that horror frost. Yeah, that's Yukon River Bridge. Yeah, like I said, I got a video on the other end of the bridge from in July. An uh, hour later. Ah. Uh, I've been one truck come by. I'm gonna go in and see if they let me get some coffee. Well, bad news. Uh, Cold foot is not letting anyone not a central in. Oh. And the same here. Now they were closed last night when I went in here at Yukon River Camp. They're not letting anybody in and had they answered the phone the two days before I come up, they could have told me that. So, kind of in a big jam now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so the manager here gave me some wood. Oh, and told me to go back out to Jerry's cabin. He said he's probably not coming back. I should have put all this in one of them sleds. He gave me enough firewood to last a few hours. He said if anybody stops in, he'll tell them about me. To give me a ride back to Fairbanks. Give me some kindling and some wood. Uh, I gotta go in and get a fire started. Well, got some birch bark. I think I've talked about this in one of my videos before. Perfect fire starter. There's some coal in there right now. Oh. Still, it's still 30 below in here. Yeah, he said it was 27 below. That guy up in the restaurant. That's even better. Yep. Cold foot. It's closed. Here, it's closed except for essential workers of my lift. Uh, so, the Alaskan in him, that's how it is here in Alaska. Everybody helps everybody. He said the COVID because your life depends on it. He said they'll take my business if they catch you in here under the rules and guidelines. Uh, so we went out to the shop, loaded some firewood on that cart and he said since 
Two time Jerry's not going to be back. He's going to let me hang here until somebody comes in and stops in there. And since it's so far away to the cafe, he's just going to come down and let me go. I hate just hanging out, not doing nothing, but he says, no, nah, I, don't, I don't care who you are, you do. You don't get there, get out there in the weather like this, you'll die. So, hang out here until I get a ride back, so. But it was cool to be on the Dalton Highway nonetheless in the winter. in here uh, this whole cabin's kind of like a, one of those shanties in Bangladesh it's just made with pallets and boards and uh, serrated metal tin roofing Look at that. How big that gap is. See, it's not even insulated. It's just a shell, but it's better than get that wind off of me. Uh, Shoot, you did it again. You got in over your head. Oh God, why I get a happy feeling out of doing this, I don't know. I've always been like this. I'm not crazy, I'm just crazy in my way. My body's made to where my brain reacts to different stimuli, different that wood in the tote. Fox. I think this is their gift. Gift shack. But the restaurant's just right across the parking lot. There's some little baby mucklucks. Birch bark baskets. Here's some Northern Light pictures. All right, cool. I finally got to record some for you. That bobcat.
the earrings, the jewelry, jewelry. Hey, I had one like that too. Still do. Yeah, he said them tracks. I told him about it. He said that might be Wolverine. What is that? The ass? Oh, I thought that was a wolf tail. Well, all right. I'm going to try and get it warm in here now. I think I said surrogated instead of corrugated about the roofing. I was like surrogated. Well, my brain's frozen. I really can't see now. I need some of them ice scrapers for my for my glasses. Uh, oh, it's starting. To, it warmed up about 700 degrees in here, so it's almost freezing in here. God, I'm starting to fall out. You know, those guys that, like, walk to the damn North Pole and South Pole, there must be three different breeds of people on Earth. The regular people, people like me, and then Sir Edmund Hillary type guys that tackle Mount Everest and... I'm kind of in between Sir Edmund Hillary and I guess the average Joe, I guess. I don't know. I think anybody could do this, but you got to be fit for the North Pole and all that. And Hillary did it with, God, not much gear, no oxygen, and no polar explorers. That, Get all the way to the South Pole and Santa Claus. No, he's at the North Pole. Santa Claus says, turn around. No, uh, see, I'm not thinking straight. But anyway, I, I went up, back up to the restaurant and talked to that guy. And just then, two natives, some Athabascan natives, come in on a snow machine, get coffee, and... Uh, I said, uh, hey man, you, you need any help doing anything? I'm, I'm just sitting around, you know, I'd rather keep moving. He goes, well, we got to split some wood, so he's coming by to pick me up. But tonight, he said he's heading into Fairbanks, and he offered me a ride back. That's about a four-hour drive. It's not that far of his miles. It's just the... Dalton Highway, you, you can't drive but about 40 miles an hour on it at top speed, but 20 miles an hour about average. Uh, so, I'm going to go help. I think he said his name was Jeremy. He's Athabascan. Uh, he's going to give me a ride later. I'm going to, for the third time, go, go help him. Uh, Split some wood and load some wood down in his cabin, and no cameras allowed. Uh, <laughs> everybody's that way around here. But anyway, so I might have him drop me off at a, a cheap motel or something in Fairbanks. That way I can sit in hot or soaking water. Or, uh, anyway. I'll be heading into Anchorage. I mean, I'm in Fairbanks, not Anchorage. God, my brain won't work. Uh, I'm trying to get my mitten on. Oh, hang on just a second. Give me a second. Uh, all right. I had to start the camera and then put my mitten on. That wasn't too much wood. I helped him split it. He's taking it home, and then he's coming back to pick me up. Damn, there goes a truck right there. We'll walk out to the Yukon River unless he, if he didn't come while I'm gone. 
It's just right up ahead. Sun's already setting. Three hours of light. Well, uh, sunlight. Uh, I was starting to get thawed out a little bit. Yeah, in July when I was here, man, all this was mud. They had a bunch of fires, forest fires here too. Uh, yeah, met somebody that uh, help me out with some, uh, help me out with, help me out with a ride from Fairbank to Fox, then I got a ride from Fox to Hilltop, Hilltop. and then Hilltop to the Dalton Highway cut off. Where that trooper was and then from there to here let me see how I, now the river is going to be froze over solid no it's liquid it's probably two and a half three foot of ice on it now, i think just south of here well the river flows east. Uh, it's the Ray River. I think it's the Ray River about a mile and a half. It, a tributary out. And they've had a remarkable amount of snow up here. I think you said their first snow was 15 inches. And this is considered arid. Yeah, here's that wooden bridge. I think the Army Corps of Engineers built it, I think. Well, where that ice fog was, it was dark last night, or I would have recorded it. There was this 18 wheeler sitting on the side of the road with about eight inches deep of this ice. That horror frost. H O A R. <laughs> See the wood planks? Not sure the distance, but at least two thousand foot. There's a you mighty Yukon. Let's see if I can zoom up. I got to take my hand out to do it. Yeah, absolutely nothing. There's Yukon River Camp. Well, where'd it go? Ah. Uh. I hear something. <sighs> uh, <laughs> bad place to, for me to be. Yeah, I'm gonna get blown to hell. He's coming down a good, it's a good 6% grade or more. Ah, I thought that was a damn fuel tanker. Scared me. I thought I was fixing to get blowed off the dang bridge. Well, he's stopping, he's probably wondering. Hell, that's hobo shoestring. Nah. Oh, maybe he thinks I want to ride. The Alaska pipeline there. I can't. I'm trying to use my camera to see what he's doing. Now I can't get my hand back in my glove.
yeah, some of that frost blows off the trees and it's really light. It's just crystals in the air that latch on to surfaces as it dingles and dangles through the air. Oh, now he takes off. Well, I can't turn the camera around. I ain't got no fingers. Well, if that was a ride for me, holy, he'd have got me. I've only happened, had that happen once. And it was in Port Arthur, Texas, where I'm from. Some guy pulled over in a car and I run all the way up. About that distance, that truck was. Get all the way up there and dude takes off, floors it. He had one of them big old Chrysler cars too. He probably burnt ten dollars in gas flooring it. <sighs> uh, yeah, the guy gave me a ride to Hilltop. He's from South Louisiana. Cameron. I hear something. Ice road trucker. Ice road truckers. Yep, that's high as the sun gets in the sky. Not even above the tree. It's about two o'clock, maybe two o'clock. We're rolled back so far on the top of the earth. We're pitched back on the earth on 23 degree axis. On its axis is on 23 degrees. So we're tilted back away from the sun. I hear Jake. Somebody's coming down the hill there. Somebody's coming down the bridge, I mean. Where are you at? Ah, he's hauling his butt. Yeah, there's a little restaurant. But for essential workers only. <sighs> yeah, everybody around here helps with each other because never know when they're going to need the help too so i'm gonna give him a little bit of gas money that jeremy for giving me a ride that's why i offered to help him All right. Ooh. hey i just seen that picture no Ugh. 800 degrees warmer in here so it must be 30 degrees in here. Yeah, I forgot to mention last night when I rolled out in here, rolled out my mat first, and my, it was so cold, my tarp broke in half. <laughs> so I, I just left it over there on top of that chair. Maybe Jeremy can cover some wood with it. Uh, Man, I mean, it just went snap, and it really got colder than it was this morning right now. I think I hear him pulling up. Uh, I hear something, but I'm fixing to go back to Fairbanks, so I'm going to wrap it up. Yeah, I'm going to invent. A new word for this cold is called ludicrous. Yep, it's ludicrous cold. <laughs> All right, back in civilization. Ah, oh, feels nice to be back, but it kind of sucks that I'm back in civilization at the same time. Two way. Bittersweet, I guess. 
Uh, I'm safe now. I went ahead and just got a room. Um, I think checkout's at noon, but what did I learn about this trip? Absolutely nothing. Uh, no, it's just, I, I don't know if anybody would even try doing it to break a Guinness Book of World Record, 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 record. But what did I learn? Um, ah, check traffic conditions? No. Yeah, I, for three days straight, I tried calling Yukon River Camp, the hotel or the restaurant, and I tried cold put to talk to somebody to see if they had any COVID restrictions. They didn't in July when I went through, so... I just went on a whim by that, but I didn't know things had changed that much in six months. But, yeah. Anyway, I'm back. Uh, I didn't quite make the Arctic Circle, but I did in July, so 400 miles. But, anyway, uh, I'm going to sign off, upload the video, and go to sleep in a warm 